Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm gonna to talk about Get Trim Snack Bars um, It's a healthy alternative to unhealthy snacking <laughs> See, uh, these are nutritious bars Each bar is 25 grams and has less than 115 calories I bought them from uh, healthcard.com only for the uh, for the sake of review because I thought the uh, you know it was a uh, very expensive and I it didn't feel I could actually sustain it in future but I thought for people who can actually afford it uh, every now and then uh, let me just review the product so they understand the pros and cons whether it's a buy or it's an ignore right so what I did was I took a video uh, I took a few pictures uh, so let me start off by playing a video for you guys just give me a sec okay so as I said I got it from health cart and uh, every bar is 25 grams which is actually uh, very insignificant it's too small you know uh, every bar weighs hundred and uh, uh, has 150, less than 115 calories is loaded with fiber okay this is the way each bar looks that's the health card box at the bottom right and it's it's it also has protein has some carbs and some fat so this is the way the top actually looks I wouldn't say the top one of the sides actually looks that soy crispies along with oats and a few sweeteners two three sweeteners have been used like uh, sugar honey isomalchulose etc this is the this is the other side the flip side guys and that's uh, cacao cocoa or chocolate covered this is the, the the flip side again the other side okay it's it's actually I thought it was quite sweet and probably one of the reasons could be that a lot of sweeteners used in maybe uh, more than moderate quantity or at least I don't like to have uh, my stuff so sweet maybe others would find it okay I don't know right so I took a bite and I thought it was uh, quite sweet. Yes, it's light and crunchy because it's a cereal bar. It has oats, it has soy crispies, so it's going to be crunchy, right? So um, we're going to uh, get to the website right now and we're going to discuss the uh, the nutritional information as well. Okay, I'm going to show you certain pictures even before that. This uh, snack bar, which has fats, carbs, uh, proteins moderately and high fiber also uses tapioca starch what's tapioca this is tapioca these are tapioca pearls or you know tapioca starch pearls sabudana as we call it in Hindi it's actually made from the root of a plant this is the way the root actually looks looks somewhat like sweet potatoes doesn't it so it yes it uses tapioca starch also uses uh, rice starch okay there are a few pictures I took let me show them to you one by one so this is that uh, 25 um, gram snack with less than 115 calories so yeah I took a, a very sweet bite I should say this is coconut flavored there are three uh, two other variants I, I think uh, the other variants are chocolate and cranberry it actually has desiccated coconut so real food is actually present it's just not coconut flavor the flavor is also present but along with desiccated coconut coconut in any form is a superfood guys okay let me show you some other pictures yeah so one of the sides is actually a cocoa layer or a chocolate layer okay and they claim it's a great between sides yes you see um, if you're gonna have something as greasy as a samosa you know it's actually better to have this for sure but it may be this pack of six may be a hundred rupees too expensive I think the MRP which is 210 should have been around maybe 110 so you know nothing more than 120 to 150 nothing more than that so it's light and crunchy I agree uh, cereal bar yes it has oats it has soy crispies I'll tell you what soy crispies are we'll go to the ingredients uh, uh, facts and the nutritional information in a while uh, yes it has uh, chocolate chocolate flavor as well uh, it has real coconut desiccated coconut and the the flavorings as well okay so it's great between snacks less than 115 calories per bar rich in fiber agreed 
Okay, so this is best before 12 months from the date of manufacture, which is June, June 2015. So this is the last month, guys. And I'm not very happy with health car for sending me a product that I had to consume within the month. What if I wanted to use it the next one too? So th this is the ingredients list, probably not, uh, but we'll go through it on the website, on their website. We'll go to their website now. And the nutritional facts as well. We'll check them out one by one. Okay. And this is the devil, the MRP. Guys, get room guys, Sattva. It's get room from Sattva. You should have priced it a hundred rupee less, if you ask me. <laughs> so this is uh, tapioca root. This is these are tapioca pearls. You know, sabudana. Okay. Uh, we'll get on to the website now. <coughs> see the uh, they make getrim makes uh, several products like breakfast shakes they say each milkshake is uh, alternative to a breakfast so that's like a meal 180 calories per shake i never tried them okay meal bars these are meal bars meal bars are different from snack bars because meal bars are 220 calories per bar and snack bars are less than 115 calories per bar okay so most of these products are actually a combination of complex carbohydrates am i getting recorded just let's be sure yep uh, soluble fibers multiple sources of protein no trans fat essential essential minerals and vitamins so micronutrients less sugar and simple carbs okay mm. now let's specifically focus on the 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 get rim snack bars i ordered the coconut variant and we'll uh, discuss the nutritional facts and the ingredients so you have the chocolate and the cranberry variant i'm not going to speak about them because i have never tried them the only one that i tried was coconut and we'll uh, straight away dive in understand the ingredients okay i'm gonna zoom it up real good guys real good so we can have a very good look <coughs> where is it gone give me a sec yeah this should be fine okay so they start off with soy crispies which are a combination of soy protein concentrate very concentrated uh, form of soy protein rice flour tapioca that we've seen as sabudana tapioca starch uh, palm kernel oil which is different from palm oil palm oil is around 50 percent saturated fats palm kernel oil uh, is made from the kernel of the palm fruit and palm oil is made from the palm fruit so it's a little different palm kernel oil is 82 percent uh, saturated fat around 80 percent they say saturated fat so this um, gives I suppose better texture better shelf life and that's the reason why they have not used palm oil but palm kernel oil they've used soy lecithin it's a very commonly used uh, food additive uh, naturally present in soy and egg yolks but since this is a completely vegetarian product also i think it's also a completely no it's not a vegan product because it has skim milk powder okay soy lecithin is an emulsifier and that ensures that the food product is uh, you know is uh, it binds the food product together the food items or the ingredients do not separate and they are kept smooth and uniform evenly distributed particles throughout your bar okay see if you try and mix oil and water together after some time the oil will separate the water will separate but the role of the emulsifier is to bind them together you know create a uniform mixture and bind them together so here also the the, the role of the emulsifier so less thin is the same keeps the consistency smooth uniform even right malt extract is something like honey even quite thicker brownish liquid it's grain based sugar actually grain based sugar syrup in simple words rice bran oil is uh, is a source of fat just like palm kernel oil palm kernel oil is a lot of saturated fat so you have to if you're using a lot of these bars you have to cut down on other sources of saturated fats the total saturates in your diet should not exceed seven to ten percent of your total caloric requirement simple rule they are not the devil just restrict your total saturates that's it okay 
<coughs> and you know it's actually used to improve the consistency and the shelf life palm kernel oil that is of the product as well as add some fat to the product see the palm kernel oil and the ras, uh, rice bran uh, oil would get bad if it was processed with a lot of chemicals and highly processed i just hope it does not okay now uh, we have seen that they have a chocolate uh, layer so that's uh, they have a cacao flavored coating so they have some flavor present flavors actually add up to the ob ob obesity guys they are obesogenic you know whether it's artificial flavors or uh, nature identical flavors they if they are not natural they will definitely add up to the obesity a little bit processed foods themselves uh, are uh, obesogenic lead to obesity the it's better to actually have real food as much as possible i only hope this is minimally processed and m minimal flavors are actually present okay so we have sugar we have uh, in the cacao flavored coating we have sugar vegetable fat again fats are fats and uh, if they are processed under high heat under high pressure using a lot of chemicals like hexane you know not not the best for our body in fact if you avoid all fats and have fats only through coconuts and avocados and nuts and seeds is best even in real life you know forget the bar in general if you can cut out all oil including olive oil i would say and just have olives instead avocados instead coconuts instead nuts and seeds instead almonds cashews better right uh alkalized cacao powder so i think treated cacao powder cocoa or cacao refers to the chocolate malt extract again grain based sugar syrup brown looking dark brown looking uh, viscous liquid emulsifier soil lecithin makes uniform makes the food product binds the food product makes it uniform smooth evenly distributed particles does not allow the food uh, stuff to separate uh, some flavor i think is vanilla flavor okay flavorings add up to the obesity you should know that isomaltulose is a type of sugar also made up of glucose and um, fructose just like sugar which is uh, sucrose uh, but has a different molecular structure and is 50% less sweeter than table sugar so it's a sweetener desiccated coconut coconut in any form is a super food period very good oligofructose is naturally present fiber from certain plants it also acts like a alternative to sugar it's a sweetener so it's a source of sweetness great a very natural sweetener rice bran oil again some fat honey honey is honey everybody knows anti allergic has few traces of minerals less processed than sugar great idea sattva sattva who made getrim uh humectin glycerol 422 let me show you what glyc glycerols other name is glycerin viscous thick liquid uh see that sorry you you may have most of you may know what glycerin is so glycerol e422 is the same common name glycerin it is it helps really sorry for the traffic it helps retain the moisture it absorbs the moisture from the atmosphere but it's actually enclosed in a bar so it wouldn't do that but that's what uh humectants do and they retain the fiber they make it keep the the stuff um they prevent drying and they keep the stuff shiny and moist over the long run okay they have skim milk powder so it's not for vegans it's only for vegetarians table salt uh i think the role out here maybe as a preservative or to enhance the sweetness that's what it actually does and maybe add some flavor as well of course uh emulsify we've talked about uh, soil lecithin e322 uh 3t uh 322 i'm sorry so here at the bottom is actually says contains added nature identical flavoring substances caramel and coconut remember even if it's nature identical it's not the same as uh 
the flavor of coconut as in the the coconut itself the the natural way nature identical is not natural guys is almost as good as an artificial flavor okay and all these kind of flavorings all the processing that happens is obesogenic and did i actually mention that it has uh, rolled oats yeah so it has toasted oat, uh, oats rolled oats why is my tongue rolling so much rolled oats sugar okay sugar okay so these are the uh, ingredients and let's talk about the i think i have to pause till this dog actually stops barking i have to pause okay nutritional facts so every bar is 25 grams we have six bars inside the pack mm, so total of 150 grams again not too much and asking too much money even if you ask me uh, one rupee per gram is still okay but to ask 210 not too happy so that that you know this way the product is then not sustainable over the long run you know how much can you spend every time it's a 25 grams bar it's gone even before you know it gone uh, it's gone uh, within seconds right total energy as we have seen is less than 115 calories total fat 4.2 grams which is okay i only hope it's it's minimally processed it's uh, not subject to too much high heat high pressure light and um, chemicals that's that's what's wrong with fat when when these things happen that turns them toxic otherwise fat is not bad if you have fat when you eat coconut no problems at all if you have it's through nuts and seeds no problems at all but these kind of fats that are extracted from palm kernels and um, what have you rice bran they usually are subject to high pressure high heat and chemical solvents like hexane so that, which leaves some residues and that makes the fat bad okay so i just hope they have not subjected to high heat high pressure and high chemicals okay so energy from fat so much so saturates there are some saturates present as i said saturated fat is not bad as long as it's uh, severely restricted to around 7 to 10 percent of your total caloric requirement total carbs 16 grams total sugars 5 grams which is okay it's 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 mild to moderate amount it's okay you should not exceed 25 grams of uh, sugar per day that's the world health organization's uh, recommendation dietary fiber 3.5 a banana has 2.6 so not bad at all it is rich in fiber I agree other carbs 7.5 okay and proteins 2.6 is insignificant guys it's not too much very mild actually very mild dose of protein a glass of skin milk which is 300 ml has around 10 grams of protein let me tell you that even though it may be skin milk okay so guys what's the verdict see it's a healthier snack it's a healthy snack better than uh, eating you know going out on the streets and eating vada pav or, or uh, samosas and what have you for sun etc it's better than that it's a better snacking option other better snacking option could be a handful of nuts i i do i do that a lot so better than having uh, you know some cream biscuits or sweet uh, biscuits or some for sun it's better to use this product but it may be a hundred rupee too expensive you know ideally i feel they can price it uh, anywhere between 120 to 150 and still okay still okay but to charge 210 rupees and some of the websites like health card actually charge you for the shipping as well although i got a 10 percent discount first and i paid through uh, paytm paytm.com and i got a further 15 percent discount that's a separate story and they sent me a product which was to expire in around 20-25 days that's again not very good not a very good gesture from health card i don't like that but since it's not an expired uh, thing i'm i can't complain all right so guys yes it's a it's an okay product so it's a good product in fact uh, but a 
tad expensive. Did I say tad? It's very expensive and hence not sustainable. So for better weight control, for healthier weight control, uh, you need something which you can buy again and again, use again and again, and I'm not so sure you can actually do that. So guys, uh, if you have deep pockets, go for it. Otherwise, try it once. You have a good day then. Bye-bye. Peace.